You guys each brought a family member today. You brought your wife. I mean, what was the best piece of advice towards your singing career that this person gave you? Well, I think uh, my wife has always been very, very supportive of, of my dream and, and my um, aspirations to be an artist and just you know be creative with um, with my, with music in general. And um, so, a, a single piece of advice is hard to hard to pinpoint. But I but I think. The most important thing that she says to me all the time is, is, is that I love you and I support you no matter what. No matter where this dream takes us. And right now it's taking us in a cool place. But, um, but there were a lot of years where, where it, you know, we were just doing our thing. And um, really, I, I think the important part about having her on my team is just that um, she's supportive of me, whether um, I'm out here doing the voice or, or making a million bucks or whatever is in the future. Or if I'm just uh, making $100 here and there uh, playing my guitar, she just wants me to be happy. And that's the most important thing um, for her to, uh, to, and for me to have her in my life. That's, that's the best part. You guys already win the cutest couple of awards. That's all I have to say. <laughs> you, that's so sweet. She's, she's my better half, the, better, the much better half. Uh, well, my mom has definitely been the most critical of my singing throughout all of these years. And... Uh, yeah, you know, she's been there for every rehearsal back at home and, you know, when I sing in the living room because that's honestly all I did. And, uh, you know, she, she just pushes me to be my best. And, you know, when I think it's good, she tells me it's not and to keep going. And, she, you know, she just pushes me to be my best. And she's a really honest person, a really honest lady. And, and I love that about her because, uh, you know, she's gotten me here. And, you know, to, you know, she's basically giving me this platform because, you know, she's pushed me to be my best. Well, um, it's awesome to have to have my dad here um, because my mom's the one who's been out here like this whole time. And so I'm usually calling my dad like while he's at home in Tennessee and I'm like trying to remember everything that's happened because I want him to like be a part of it too. So for him to actually be there and um, be able to like see, see it firsthand, it, it's just awesome because he's been the biggest influence in my music. Um, I've grown up listening to his old um, albums that like he's drilled into my mind. So um, I owe all of my um, like taste in music to him. So it's awesome for him to be here. You guys really seem like you work well as a team, but at the same time, you all have to work on your own individual things, and only one of you can you know win this thing. So where's that balance for you guys? How do you work so well together while also you know working on your own individual stuff? Well, I think that's the really the cool part of the show, uh, and why this show is so successful is it's just such a positive show, and it's about um, being positive, being creative, and, uh, and and it's a fact. I mean, we're all we're all battling for for there's 11 of us, and we're all battling for 10 spots right now. But um, at the end of the day, I really have always felt like all the contestants, all the artists that are here, are really pulling for each other. You know, there's never there's never any negative um, energy or, or negative comments that take place, and especially amongst our team. You know, I've been real fortunate to to be around these two for for a while now, and it's and it's been a real pleasure. And I think that um, no matter what happens tomorrow and who gets eliminated, I don't think it'll be any any one of us. Um, but at the end of the day, I think we're all pulling for each other, and um, and you know if if one of us uh, happens to go home tomorrow, um, we're going to continue a relationship together and support each other in, in music. And and I and I'm really blessed to be able to do that with these two these two young guys, uh, you know, who, who are really really breaking out into the music business, and, and it's been a real great experience. So we're a great team. Well, I mean, we're all we all sing country music, but then in that we're all so different too. We all have our different styles that we like, and and that's really cool for us to come together and be able to share ideas with one another to, to help each other. And these guys have definitely helped me better as an artist. Uh, and you know, Barrett with me coming into this, and um, you know, he's such a seasoned performer, and he's been doing this for a long time. And I've definitely learned a lot, not only from Blake and and from all the other advisors on the show, but uh, just from from Barrett and, and being able to be on his team. What's the one thing that surprised you working with Blake? I mean, everybody knows that he's got this, you know, this performer or this, uh, uh, what the public thinks about him, and then actually working so close with him, you know, what's the one thing that really surprised you that you had, you know, no idea that, well, you know, Blake Shelton is like X, Y, and Z? I think for me, it was just uh, the realization that, um, that he's just a, just a guy, you know, with a cool job, and, uh, and that was really surprising, but also a great affirmation of, of really the human spirit and that like, 
we're all just people trying to, you know, make an honest and, and, and live our lives. And, um, and some people have to live their lives out in front of the camera and, 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 are, and are celebrities. But um, when you get alone with somebody like Blake Shelton, and, and especially in a working environment, a music environment, you kind of realize, all right, well, there's a reason why this guy's successful, and it's because he works hard and, and he's honest. And, he, um, and he's, you know, he's made the right moves in his career musically. And um, and so that's a that was a bit of a surprising thing because it's easy to uh, you know to have a perception of what a celebrity is going to be like or act like, and um, and the truth is it was it was exact the exact opposite just the the utmost normal regular good old guy and that, and that and that's really perfect for 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 me as an artist and a person and I think this would be the same for the other for the other guys on the team definitely um. That's something that I love so much um, about Blake is just the fact that I feel like I can just be myself around him because he is. Like Barrett said, he's just a normal guy. And and it's awesome and it, it's like inspiring because um, like it makes no matter, and I know y'all probably agree, no matter how far any of us ever go, like I want to be like that all the time. I want to be um, like invested and personable with every person that like comes across my path. And so it's awesome just to see him and the way he acts with us, like it's just inspiring. Is there any um, traditions that you guys have in your family that maybe you're sad you're gonna be missing this year? And also, what are you grateful for? Okay, so my mom is like the best cook in the whole world. So <laughs> I'm just gonna miss her food so much. She's like, that's like the best part of Thanksgiving a and family, but definitely the food. Um, so I'm gonna miss that. And you know, I'm, I'm so grateful just for all the, the people that I have met, like like Barrett said, like my team means so much to me. Like these guys and like everyone else on this show, we've all become a family. So it's sad that we're not with our real like family back home, but like I feel like I, I'm still with my family here. So it's awesome. I have a very large family, and uh, it, it's going to be tough not being with my sisters this year. And um, the grandparents and the cousins always come up to our house and. You know, we always watch football and stuff, but uh, luckily they've been understanding that, you know, I've been given this opportunity and, um, you know, for me to be out here and be able to spend it with these guys is just awesome because we've grown so close. Um, so the one thing I'm going to miss is just, just having that quality family time with everybody and grandma's cooking when she comes up to Georgia. Um, but, yeah, just thankful for these guys and, uh, you know, how, how welcoming they've been to me. Cool. I don't have any, like, big... Uh you know things that we do every year but this will be my first year to spend spend uh, Thanksgiving away from my kids and and my wife and and that's okay um, these these kids are, are, a, are a pretty good replacement um, but you know what I'm thankful for the most is 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 music and this opportunity to to help create that language you know I've always said that music was a was a language that transcends ideologies and and borders and uh, and generations and it's it's really I'm really really grateful that uh, I've got the opportunity to to be one of the people that gets to create that language and and, um, and, and certainly getting to do it with all these other contestants. It's been great. Is that not a <laughs> this is like the biggest selfie ever.